Good morning. I am exactly 30 yards away from the flag. A position I'm probably going to find myself in more often as I get older. Either I can't reach after I've hit the fairway because the hole's too long for me, or I haven't reached because I drove in the rough and I didn't have the strength to get it to the green. Now the 30 yards uh, will become apparent why I've chosen that number for a little bit later in the video. But if I'm going to maintain my single figure handicap as I get older, just like so many wonderful people in my comments, brilliant golfers obviously, then I need to get better at this. But how good am I at the moment? Let's find out. Well, now you can see why I picked 30 yards. It's because we've actually got some stats. Now I'm going for that back left flag. This gives me the most amount of green on this little chipping green. I was going to do this on the course on a proper green, but I think that would be rather rude to be going and making pitch marks on a proper green. And I'd probably get in other people's way anyway. So we're doing it from here. Now I've been practicing this morning just for this video and I was doing a lot better than that. I just chunked that one terribly. But this is very easy to do. It's a very easy practice. I'll tell you what a camera can do to you. I just had a little practice and I put four inside my feet. <laughs> Let's go have a measure. Well, that's a little annoying compared to how well I did off camera. That was a total of 20 and a half yards divided by four balls, including the one I just dropped. So I'm looking at just over 15 feet as an average from 30 yards. I think I can improve on that. Well, I know I can because I just did it off camera. Let's move forwards. Right, now I'm at 20 yards from the flag. So it's about half and half because this is the chipping green, not a full size green. So I've got less green to work with. So it's an either or, you could go lower, which I'm going to do with a pitching wedge, or you could stick with your sand wedge and hit it slightly higher. What I would suggest you don't do is putt from here. There is no way that you can accurately judge consistently the speed of this fairway, if you like, and it's going to bump. And as it bumps, it loses speed, changes direction. It's also dewy this morning, it is wet. So your chances of getting it right are rather slim. You've got to lift the ball onto the green with one of these, whichever one is your favorite. See, I've got the wrong club here. Because I'm pitching to this little green, I haven't quite got enough room for my pitching wedge, so I'm over hitting it. I should have stuck with the sand wedge for this one. What are you doing? So finding the exact landing spot is proving to be a little awkward. It's only barely a few feet on the green and that one bad one is going to really hurt my average. Right, let's go measure it. One duff shot, thanks to the camera. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm, I'm making a mess of this, aren't I? Another duff shot that was 11 yards from the flag. But in total, it was 15 yards away for four balls, so... Uh, I can't even do mathematics right now. That's how, that's how much my head is scrambled. So if it was 16, that'd be four yards, which is 12 feet. So it's, yeah, it's about 11 feet, which isn't good. But then I don't often duff from 20 yards. Let's go forward to the fringe, shall we? That's the next stop. 
To drive the ball 300 yards, you need to be young, fit, athletic, preferably over six feet tall with long arms and, of course, a decent swing. To practice the short game, well, a five foot guy who's 80 years old can certainly practice 30 yarders, 20 yarders, and a little bit of chipping like this from the fringe. This is where we can be as good as the pros and sometimes perhaps even better than the worst pro. And we can do it when we're old, no excuses. Right, chipping from the fringe was a little bit easier. I actually got my tape measure out for that rather than just pacing it out. I was a total of seven feet, 10 inches, no, seven feet, nine inches for four balls, which isn't bad, isn't bad at all. That's what I was expecting. The further I get away from the green, the worse I am. So I know what to practice now, 30 yarders, 40 yarders and perhaps uh, some 20 yarders. Although 20 yarders vary, don't they? You can have a flag way at the back of the green and you're on the fringe and you're 20 yards away. But I wouldn't putt from a long way off the green because you don't really know what's going to happen and we're after accuracy and consistency. Now I didn't do it out of the rough. I didn't do it over the bunker to a tight flag. I haven't done the full array of shots that I might need in a round of golf. Because this is a Tuesday shorty, it's not a one hour lecture. But if we as seniors are going to maintain our handicap and not just go up and up and up, this is what we need to practice, isn't it? As much as we want to get our long game straight so we find fairways and when, when we're in the fairway, we can hit a solid iron and find the green. Reality is we're going to be spending more time here this far away from a green. So that's what I'm going to try and prioritise in my practice in the future. My long game does suck right now. I'm making some changes and um, undoubtedly it will be worse in the short term and hopefully better in the long term. So, what are you going to do to keep your handicap down as you get older? Ta-ra!